Beautiful is like a duet now. I got you, babe. Even when the financials might have gone down, we're not at our peak of revenue we were earning like during the pandemic. The positive impact of how the industry can grow and reach so many more people from a player side and from a developer side is like, it's at a great point right now. You used to have a PC worth $1,000 to run the headset that worth $800 and there's so much like buy-in to just get an audience built. So I think the accessibility of tech is kind of leading to this really sweet spot for VR. Like Meta's doing great things in there. I have a Meta Quest at home on my like headset. I play a VR mini golf in there with my friends all the time. Um, and just bringing that kind of financial burden down a little bit so more people can try this really cool and immersive tech. And the tech's also improving as well. Um, so you kind of see these feeding off each other and it's just becoming kind of like that sweet spot. way to grow audiences. Um, you see it with The Last of Us. Uh, the series came out on HBO and then uh, the next week after the debut you see their game sales on the remake they just released are going up. Um, CD Projekt Red saw that's kind of similarly with their Witcher games. So they, their sales have always been really strong on that but they also started going up after the Witcher series started on Netflix. It's not even based off the games. It's based on the same novel that the games are based on um, and also like Cyberpunk 2077. Similar boon. So for a lot of kind of like bigger companies from the side by taking this transmedia approach um, they're able to grow their audiences and introduce their um, games and IP to more people out there who then become potential players.